What's going on everyone? I'm back here with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to record your computer using the Elgato Game Capture HD. <clears throat> um, now for this demonstration I'm going to be using a MacBook but you can use a Windows computer as well. Uh, the process is exactly the same for both operating systems and it also will work both on laptops and desktops. So Essentially, you can do this on any type of laptop. It really doesn't matter. Uh, just in this case, like I'm using a Mac. So now for those of you that are, are going to be using a Mac that does not have a built-in HDMI port, you're going to need an HDMI adapter that goes to a mini display port. So if you don't, if you have a MacBook that does not have an HDMI, you need this. But if you have one of the newer MacBooks, uh, you don't have to worry about this adapter because they have those an HDMI port built in. So now you're also going to need one standard uh, HDMI cable. Doesn't uh, matter what kind, just as long as it's a basic HDMI. And you need the uh, USB cable that came in the box with your Elgato. So those are the things that you need. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you need to do is grab your Elgato and plug in one, in one end of the HDMI cable into the HDMI input on the Elgato. Like so. Alright. So and then you need to grab the um, USB cable and plug it into the USB port on the opposite end of the Elgato. Now we're not going to be using the HDMI, HDMI output on the Elgato. So just leave that alone. We're not going to be using that. So you should uh, end up with the Elgato looking like this with the USB going out of one side and the HDMI on the other. So essentially that's all you got to do there. Uh, next, now again this is only for Mac users but for those of you that use this adapter just go ahead and plug this into the, um, the uh, mini display port on the side of the computer like so and then you're good to go. Alright, from here, you're going to need to then download the uh, Elgato Game Capture software, which I will provide a link in the description so you guys do not need to uh, search around for it. Um, so, let's go ahead and open up the program, wherever you have it stored on your computer. So just go ahead and open it up, as you can see here. So, currently, <clears throat> it is recognizing no devices because we have not plugged it in. So... At this point, you're going to want to plug in the other end of the HDMI cable into your computer's HDMI port. And if, like I said, if you're using a Mac that does not have the HDMI port built in, you need to plug it into that adapter that I showed earlier in the video. So let's go ahead and do that. And the screen is going to flash for a few seconds as it adjusts to the resolution of the Elgato. So then we're going to plug in the USB cable into the USB port. And this will give the Elgato power, and it should recognize it, and you should see something on the screen. So again, it's going to flash black and back and forth several seconds as it adjusts to the resolution. <coughs> so there we go. It's going to keep adjusting. And you should see the recording on the screen. There we go. So here we are. So as you can see, you now see your desktop mirrored through the Elgato's um, capture software. So um, if you get a no signal appearing in this area here on your screen, uh, do not worry. Uh, just click on the settings icon here and you should see uh, options in the settings menu. So you, under input device, you're going to want to select other. Uh, if it's selected on any of these other devices, such as the iPad, PlayStation 3, 4, Xbox, whatever, um, that will not work, so you need to put it on Other for this to work with a computer. And then the input has to be on HDMI for this to work as well. <coughs> uh, the HDMI color range needs to be on Standard. And then the profile can be essentially whatever you want it to be. You can set it to be Mobile, Standard Definition, HD720, or HD1080. Uh, since this MacBook only supports 720p output, um, that's what I'm going to select. But if your laptop and or computer in general supports 1080p, you can select that option and you should be good to go. 
Uh, quality, I would suggest putting it all the way to best so you can get the best quality out of the recording. And then you want to make sure preserve source format is checked just to make sure all the quality uh, and everything stays the same and does not get degraded. Um, and then the other two options here, stretch standard definition input and a crop to reduce size, uh, those you can leave unchecked. You do not need to mess with those. <coughs> um, under the color, or excuse me, picture tab, uh, you're going to want to just leave this alone. Unless you really need to change it, you shouldn't have to mess with this at all. Um, audio, I normally don't uh, mess with that as well. I mean, you could. You can change the audio and make the sound louder or quieter, depending on your preferences. But again, I don't usually mess with this. Uh, profiles, again, I don't mess with. And TV compatibility, um, again, it's not really necessary to change this unless you really, really have to. So really, don't mess with any of these other tabs unless you need to. So essentially, those are the settings that you need to put for this device to record your computer. So once you've done, hit OK. And you should be ready to go. Uh, you can now... And it will be an interesting kind of a mirror effect, like I said before, where you get several windows uh, popping up inside of each other. So if I, say for example, open up this and then close it, you'll see that replicated numerous times on the screen. It's kind of an interesting effect, but don't worry about that. That will not show up when you're recording. Um, it will be just normal. So once you're ready to record, you can just click on the big red button down here and the device will start recording your screen. And to uh, make sure that you don't record the actual Elgato software, you're gonna wanna minimize it. And there you go. So you can see we're now recording the desktop. And say, for example, I'm gonna open up uh, Safari. It's gonna open up, it's gonna go there, and then I can close it. And then if we stop the recording, it should mimic what I just did. So let's go ahead and stop. And there we go. Let's go ahead and minimize that again. And go to the Elgato software. <coughs> Whoops. Need to find where it's located. All right, there we go. So let's go and drag that out so we can take a look. And if we play it back, you can see it is now recording, or it's playing back what we just saw on the screen. So. Once I minimize this, of course, you do not see that weird effect. So here we go. So as you can see, it recorded the screen in full HD uh, 720, in this case, quality. So there you go. That is how you record uh, your computer's screen using the Elgato Game Capture HD. Uh, this is really, really useful if you're going to use it for gameplays or Let's Plays or something like that. So you can... Do that, and it also it will work with live streaming. So if you are someone that live streams to Twitch, um, you can use this to uh, stream your computer games or anything like that to uh, the Twitch service. So really, really useful, really quite interesting in my opinion. And yeah, so that's basically it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hope you guys helped you out. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down there. It's greatly appreciated. Helps out the channel. Uh, if you guys like the video, hit that uh, thumbs up button. Much appreciated. And if you guys need any help or have any comments, questions, or anything like that, drop a comment below, and I'll help you guys out the best as I can. Uh, so yeah, that being said, once again, hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.